Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that there, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Thank you so much for coming back, <laughs> first of all, and uh, tuning in. Um, I do realize that your reading for June was really rough, um, and I do want to say I did hesitate. I struggled with putting that video out there because there was a lot of my own personal feelings coming out in that, but, um, you know, at, at the same time, there was also some divine anger coming through, but you know what, whatever, um, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that one, but at the same time, like... I did struggle with it and I almost record, re redid that video and the universe and spirit said to me, no, Eric, that came out for a reason. People need to hear that. There's a lot of frustration associated with whoever, whether that was the Gemini that was acting up or someone around the Gemini that was acting up, man, that was not cute. <laughs> that was not cute. But anyway, there's that. Uh, so here we go. Let's, let's see what's going on with Gemini for the month of July, yeah? Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all Geminis. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, Gemini. There's a lot of air, there's a lot of smoke. I feel like some of you are still reeling from whatever went down in June, okay? You may still be dealing with some of that energy. I just feel like there's a smoke screen around you guys right now. Again, that could have been your energy, Gemini, or it could have been someone around you, right? And that's how we're going to look at this, this reading, too. This is either you, Gemini, or this is, this is someone you're connected to. Yeah, Gemini, you got a smoke screen around you, man. I don't know what that's about. You could be trying to protect yourself, but also you just could be trying to pull the wool over on someone. Or if not one particular person, then a bunch of people around you. Okay, let's get into these energy here, yeah? Okay, cool. Overall energy, we've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. 
being overly defensive in some cases. This could be why you could be surrounded in a smoke screen. Being defensive for no reason is what I'm also picking up here. For some of you, it could be laying down the wands, like laying down the defenses, coming out of being super defensive about something, maybe seeing something for what it truly is, maybe accepting something for what it truly is. I don't know. Let's see. Let's move forward. Aha, we've got the Page of Swords. We've got the Six of Cups. And we've got the Two of Cups. All right. But the Two of Cups is in reverse. So you, Gemini, or somebody else. Now, the Page of Swords uh, could very well be your energy because you are an air sign. Swords is, a, is the suit of air. Um, I feel like some of you are laying down defenses when it comes to a soulmate. Um, and you guys may not be in communication with each other. Um, either you, Gemini, or the other person could have blocked you in some way. And so now you're trying to get around that and you're trying to figure out what's going on with them. Because you two are at odds with each other, with the Two of Cups in reverse here. But you still have this strong soulmate bond. Somebody is seeking information. Maybe seeking information to try and communicate somehow in the future. Yeah. Um, trying to understand the situation better. Like, I really feel like someone could be putting down their defenses that they had up for so long, um, and now, and that could be because they came into some new information that kind of, like, opened their eyes a little bit, and so now they're trying to figure out more so they, they can really understand you or you could understand them better, right? Because even though you two are at odds with each other, with the Two of Cups in reverse, you still have this deep, loving soul connection with the Six of Cups here. And I'm really feeling that as I look at this card, like the, the, the emotions that I'm feeling for whoever, this is either you, Gemini, or someone else connected to you, but there is a deep, loving connection here. And someone is really regretting the walls that they had been consistently putting up with the Seven of Wands. Because for the most part, they were unjust. They were not uh, appropriately placed. You were Someone was walling someone off for no real good reason other than maybe their pride and ego or maybe what some others were telling them. And now they're starting to see the truth of that. Whoever it is. We've got, oh, yep, yeah. six of wands in reverse. This is a carryover from last month from the energies of last month. Someone just got humbled to the ground. And this could be why they're putting down these wands with the seven of wands in reverse, yeah? Six of wands in reverse is coupled with the fool. So good, someone's starting over. Someone is like, all right, let me put my pride and ego to the side and let me try this a different way. Let me take a new approach. Let me learn something new. Let me, let me jump off this cliff and follow what the universe has been saying to me finally. <laughs> oh, Gemini. Moving forward, we've got, ooh, the Empress in reverse. We could be talking the Divine Feminine. Um, we could be talking a mother. We could be talking a miscarriage or um, something not really manifesting to completion, like just on an energetic level. Empress in reverse is coupled with the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm getting with this. There absolutely could have been a miscarriage. And if that's the case, I, I my deepest console, condolences go out to you and your families. But someone someone's passion was misplaced towards a feminine energy. If we're talking divine partnerships, uh, soulmates, twin flames, whatever, whatever, however you want to label or identify with this deep soulmate connection here with the six of cups and then the two of cups in reverse underneath the deck, someone chose a false representation of the real divine feminine and now they just got their shit wrecked. And they've been humbled and now someone's trying to start over because they realize the mistake they made in choosing this person over the true divine feminine or the true counterpart. 
and this would and and this is really appropriately depicted because it was the masculine energy it was the the individual that held more of the masculine energy in this situation that made this seemingly wrong choice and i say seemingly because ultimately if they hadn't made that choice then they wouldn't have experienced the contrast and they wouldn't have come to the realization so ultimately it served the relationship in the long run okay moving forward We've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, someone's refusing to do something. Someone refused to do something in the past. Someone's not necessarily working in the same way that they used to with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Somebody refused to do the work that they needed to do and they kept themselves in a cycle of backstabbing, of deceit, of betrayal. Someone refused to change their approach um, and it just continually hurt them. They literally kept themselves in that backstabby cycle. Okay, moving forward, we have the Ten of Wands. Upright. And so now they're just carrying these burdens, plugging along, Gemini, and this is not comfortable, is it? No. No. Because you may have even you may have even committed to this person with the Empress here. There's, because even though she's in reverse, she still is looking for a commitment. Although she's not in a good place, she's manipulative, she's a helicopter parent or lover, she is I heard racked with ego, like completely controlled by ego. And that may have been what attracted you to her because as a masculine energy, your ego is like your best friend or at least has been your best friend. But because of that, because somebody refused to change their approach and kept themselves in this, this cycle of destruction, of self-destruction really, now they got all these burdens to carry. And they don't know how to get out of it. The Ten of Wands is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Because now you have to give and give and give and give. And she really ain't giving much in return, is she? This doesn't have to be a physical woman. This could be, this is just energy. But she's not giving back until she feels like it. And who knows when that'll be, right? But you're stuck. You may have married this person. Or you may be in some sort of um, business relationship with them, with the Six of Pentacles here. And you feel extremely obligated to stay around this person because of what all they, quote, give you. But aren't you doing most of the giving? Because aren't you doing most of the legwork? Oh, right. Oops, there's that. Moving forward, Gemini, we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands is upright. I'm feeling like from this energy, I'm feeling like you want to move forward in a different direction and you, you, you want to go quick. But keep in mind, the Knight of Wands is wishy-washy. He's in one second and out another. Out another, out the other. You know what I mean? 11-11 on the counter. So just be careful with this Knight of Wands energy. But the Knight of Wands is coupled with the, yeah, the Three of Cups. This ain't, this is, pfft please. In one second, out the other. In it for the accolades. In it for the, the fame and the, the, the recognition for the moment. Because check it out, boo. Five minutes after this moment passes, ain't nobody gonna remember your name. You see that? They too fucked up. They can't even remember their own names. <laughs> they can't even remember what they said or did five minutes ago. What makes you think they're gonna remember you? In this energy, nah, that ain't gonna help you, boo. It is not going to help you. Moving forward, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. And now this is coming up under the Empress and the, and the Page of Wands in reverse. So um, either there's been a breakdown of communi in communication, there's going to be a breakdown in communication, lies, this Empress could be lying to you, or you could be choosing not to move in this direction anymore. 
Like I'm picking up a hard switch because the Eight of Wands is swift movement. So in, with the Eight of Wands in reverse, you could be choosing to go in a very different direction and very, very quickly. Yeah? Either you, Gemini, or somebody else. Aha. Uh -huh. But we also have this coupled with the Hermit in reverse, so we could be talking a Virgo. Um, things aren't moving in the direction that you want them to, but if you want them to get moving in the direction you want them to, you've got to do some soul searching. It's time for you to go within now. You could be not communicating because you are in this introspective moment. Like the, 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 the hermit in reverse, I'm picking up for some of you means that you are actively in this hermit stage and you're not talking. You're not talking. You're not communicating. Because at this point, you don't really have anything to say. And even if you did have something to say, it probably would not be too con uh, uh, constructive. It would probably be really cutting and mean and hurtful. Even though you may be justified in feeling like you, have, you, you can lash out at somebody like that, it's not a wise choice. Because ultimately, Gemini or whoever this person connected with the Gemini is, they put themselves in this position. And they honestly could be stepping out on this situation with the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups here. They really could be stepping out on this person. Even though this empress is negatively as aspected, even though she, this person could be a false representation of um, divine feminine or just a twisted representation of feminine energy, whoever this page of wands is, is dipping out on them, potentially, with this knight of wands and this three of cups. Instead of going within to find the truth in how to move forward, out of this situation. Nah, they're just gonna choose to dip. Dip that stick somewhere else, try and get their jollies somewhere else, and just come right, right on back home to this mess. Nope, that's not a, not a wise choice either, Gemini, or whoever's connected to the Gemini. Not a wise choice, because that karma's gonna come back to you, boo, when you least expect it to. Okay, moving forward, we've got the Ace of Swords, aha moment, someone's turning on that light bulb with the Four of Swords, okay? And both of these are upright, so clarity is coming to you either through introspection, okay, because maybe you are in this hermit moment. And you're gaining some wisdom, you're gaining some knowledge, you're starting to understand things differently, you're starting to see the truth, see things for what they really are. Or all of a sudden you get this flash or something happens that puts the pieces together sufficiently enough for you to, whoa, step back and be like, hold up, let me think about this for a second. Did that really just happen? Right? Because this guy is sit is laying here on this bed and he's got that ace of swords right there laying on, across his lap. And it looks like he's praying on it like, holy shit, did I really just see that? I need a break. Because look what's behind him. Three of swords. More backstabbing energy. More deceit, betrayal, heartbreak. Someone could be stepping out. Even though this is not an ideal situation with the Empress in reverse, that still does not give you the right to step out on somebody. Whether it makes you feel good or not. Because ultimately, everybody deserves respect. Regardless of what they are doing to you. Because what they are doing to you is them, not you. So now you're going to stoop down to their level? and get back at them somehow to make yourself feel good, baby, you're only hurting yourself in the end. Mm. But somebody gets that with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords. So okay. Take your lumps, take your licks. Let karma have its way for you for the moment that it's due. And then move on. Finally, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's focused on material aspects of the world and that's about it. 
Someone's selfish. Coupled with the Four of Cups. Here you are trying to give them something and they ain't even trying to see you. Although, look, 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 look. Here we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse, but looking right at that person in the Four of Cups. So maybe, maybe this is someone trying to offer someone else something like with the Four of Cups, but they ain't having it because they see just how materialistic, narcissistic, selfish, egotistical this King of Pentacles is. Being like, nah, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna accept that. Either I've been down this road before with someone else and it did not turn out right, or I just see it already. We do have the Two of Cups in reverse here. Somebody's gonna have to turn up right in order for this cup to be accepted, in order for that two of cups to be turned around. Maybe someone maybe someone is seeing, like with the seven of wands in reverse, maybe someone is seeing the nature of their selfish and egotistical ways and now wants to make a change, now wants to offer something, and is actively trying to offer something, but they're still not coming correct. They're still coming from this egoic, selfish, self-centered space, materialistic even. Probably more materialistic than selfish or self-centered. Selfish or self-centered, um, for the most part, comes off with the King of Wands. But it can come through with the King of Pentacles, too. Okay. Unicorn Guidance. Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns for Gemini for the month of uh, July. Let's see what we got for you, Gemini. All right. Gemini, 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 month of July. Gemini, 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 month of July. What you got? What you got, universe? Let's see. I'm just going to let it fall out here. For Gemini. For the month of... Okay, I'm being told this was it. Trust. Okay, one more, the bottom of the deck, intuition. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Those two make sense together. The first one is trust. Leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Now this is absolutely going, for, going to resonate with this fool energy here. It's time to make a change, Gemini. There's a lot of change coming through. Like I just, I've, I'm going through the Zodiac in order. So I've already done Tor uh, Aries and Taurus and they had some pretty changey like energy. And now so do you, Gemini. There's a lot of change happening all around us. And in order for you to really be, be successful with this change, you've got to trust your intuition. Okay. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what, all right? Getting to Oracle Guidance here from the Crystal Mandala deck and whatever comes out here, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel called to pick it up, to work with it, I encourage you to do so, yeah? All right, for Gemini, for the month of July, for the month of July, Gemini. Damn, Gemini. There it is. Right here. Wow! Support! That came out for Taurus, too. Was it Taurus? No, it might have been Aries, actually. Yes, because Taurus got Aquamar Aquamarine. All right, so support. Archangel Barbelo and Picture Jasper. So the message here is you've got the support of the universe behind you. Okay, stop feeling trapped. Stop feeling like you gotta step out on somebody just to make yourself happy to only come back to a situation that is not fulfilling you, fulfilling to you, that is abusive, that is maybe even aggressive. Like, no, move forward. Get yourself out of that situation. I'm gonna read from the book for you. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. 
We offer physical support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited passion. I'm sorry, compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. All right, Gemini. So there you have it. Yeah, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of August. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.